And this weekend, we're expecting more storms. I don't see it like that, mm -hmm. which, okay. I mean, rarely do we, right, fortunately. But, yeah, let me get you out the door. I want to show you tonight. Beautiful night. Did you guys go outside, by the way, yeah, during dinner break? Nice. I didn't good. get a chance. You didn't? That's because no, you're I working did. hard, right? That, yeah. or, or, or hardly, hardly working. Yeah. I knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> okay. That's all right, though. Hey, here's what it looks like outside right now. Beautiful evening. 79 degrees. How nice is that? A little bit of a wind out of the southwest. Number I want to point out, though, is this, the dew point, 65. Now we're starting to walk Walk back into the muggy territory. We cool 79 down to 65 in dew forms. The higher that is, the higher that number, the stickier it feels. So tonight we're going to go humid to muggy. We're kind of playing around that stage. Tomorrow it's going to be in the muggy territory. So not quite oppressively humid. That's coming for Thursday and Friday. But you'll notice it tomorrow. You couple that with the mid 90s, you'll certainly feel the heat out there tomorrow. Here's the way it breaks down for you a little bit further. Walking out tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock, temperatures in the 70s, 73. We'll go to 83 by 10. You're eating lunch outside, noon, 1 o'clock tomorrow. We're up near 90 degrees, if not crossing over. We're going to say 92 degrees at 4, and then the temperatures will come back down Thursday. Pretty much the same thing with temperatures. Probably a little bit warmer when we get into the afternoon with some of these 90s here. Feeling hotter than that because of the humidity and the added humidity is also going to help bring us the potential for some storms. So here's what it looks like tomorrow morning. No problems for you. A nice sunny day, and almost every one of you bone dry tomorrow. It's hot, sticky. I say almost everybody because the exception is going to be in our far northern zones. Carbon, Monroe County, maybe the Lehigh Valley seeing a stray shower or two, potentially upper Bucks County. Not a huge deal, but as we go into the pretty much later part of the day and into the evening, even this time tomorrow night, we may be tracking a stray lone shower or two, primarily north of our area. Thursday is a greater day for storms. Normally we just take you 24 hours, but I want to go into Thursday as well because this is. I wouldn't call it our next weather maker per se, but it's certainly the next chance we have widespread of seeing some showers. So we get some clouds in the morning. Again, noon. Notice it's pretty much dry a good portion of the day. But by 3 o'clock on Thursday afternoon into the evening, we're going to be tracking some of these showers and potentially a thunderstorm that's going to be working on through the area. And that will go into your Thursday evening as well. At this point, the Storm Prediction Center has us in what's called the marginal risk. And that's a 1 out of 5 on the severe scale for Thursday. And that means an isolated strong to potentially severe storm is possible. We'll keep you updated on that. So that's Thursday. Just talked about Wednesday and Thursday. Then we get into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and all three days now have that potential, if not likelihood, of showers and storms, especially on Sunday. Now, I put together one of these models and talked about, I'm not going to pause this here. This is total rainfall from Friday morning through Sunday night. And notice that while not anything like it was last week, we do have totals in that one and a half to two inch range, maybe a little bit more. Again, not in an hour, spread out over the weekend. That's what we're looking like, but certainly enough that we're going to add some more uh, accumulating rain to the totals. And then we'll go into the 90s as we get into next week. But notice temperatures there in the upper 80s, low 90s. Normal high is 88 this time of year, so not out of control. But enjoy one more dry day before things start going back to the summer conditions that we know. Guys, mm -hmm.